And so Jesus was the only one, and is the only one, that can reveal God's character. Nobody else can do it. And now your host, Pastor Robert Scale. Welcome again to Jesus This Answer Ministries broadcast. I'm Pastor Robert Scales, and I'm telling y'all, are y'all getting a hold of this where you're really seeing where, why people live in the flesh so much? And I'm telling you, the next couple of days, uh, I'm going to really deal with, with uh, believing on the name, and I'm going to tie it in to your faith working by love. And I'm going to show you why it's so important uh, uh, to, to live in believing on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and loving one another as he gave us command. This is what makes your faith work. Not you believe God just loves you. That's the first one. But what God did for you in Jesus, you go back and reproduce that in your life. Amen. Now, here in... First John, we've been using First John 3, 22 and 23 as a text. And whatever we ask, we receive of him. See, whatever we ask, we receive. Remember, I'm going to pray for you all tomorrow. You let people know we're on every morning, Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. And also on Saturday and Sundays. Whatever we ask, we receive of him. See, we receive of him. Now, why, why, why? Why do we receive of him? Because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. In his sight. Now, oh, hold it now. I want to deal with that. We, 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 whatever we ask, see, if we want to live this kind of life or whatever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight, we do those things. We do those things. We do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Are, are you doing those things that are pleasing in sight? Well, most people, they don't even know what that means. So we got to go back and do a study on this. Now, the number one thing Jesus said is to keep his commandments. That's believing on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, verse 23. And love one another as he, Jesus, gave us commandment. Your first commandment is not to go love people. I ask people all the time, what is their commandment? They don't have a clue. They be saying, love God, love your neighbor as yourself. And them are not our commandments. Even though we'll end up fulfilling those commandments, they are not our commandments. We should never teach them to people. We should teach what John is teaching him because the, the, the apostles never taught none of the saints to love God in their strength, their heart, their soul, their mind, their strength. We love him because he first loved us. So when we believe on the name of his son, Jesus, and then love one another, we're loving God when we go love one another as he gave us command. Now listen carefully. Verse 22. Now I want to read this again. Whatever we ask, we receive of him. We get it because, condition, we keep his, Jesus, commandments. Two of them. Number one, believing on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave us commandments. Secondly, and to do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Now, Let's go and begin to look at that. Hebrews <clears throat> chapter 11, verse 6. Now, here's what we're... Let, hold on a minute now. I, I, the Spirit wants me to go over here in John 8. John 8. Uh, Jesus said, verse, 20, verse 28, Then said Jesus, And then when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall you know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself. Now, now, you see, people know, I, don't, I read that hundreds of times, and I didn't get the revelation to, to the last uh, 10 years. But, but, but he said, I do nothing of myself. See, I do nothing of myself. That means he never did nothing in his strength, through his flesh. 
But as my father have taught me, I speak these things. See, he's living by faith. What the father taught him was how much he loved him. What Jesus wanted to teach you is how much he loved you and what he did for you on that cross and the power of that resurrection. I, the Father, have taught me. See, Paul said, let me read it to you, in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 20, but you have not so learned Christ. If so be you have heard Jesus, him, and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. See, have you really been taught by him? You know, taught how to live in his love, his character, his authority, and not live in your strength. Have you really been taught to not complain, not gripe, don't be frustrated? When you get persecuted, you take it patiently. You don't gripe, grumble, complain, and gripe about how folk done you. Mm. See, that I do not, that's the key. You that you don't do nothing of yourself. See, so you gotta change how you talk. You you can't talk about how, you know, well, I'm I'm holding on. No, you need to be believing how Jesus loved you. That's the life you need to live. Is embracing what he has done for you and not what you can do for him. Jesus said, I do nothing of myself. But as my father have taught me, I speak these things. Now you see a uh, 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 James teach in James 2 verse 12. So speak and so do as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty, which is the moral instruction, the Amplified Bible said, the moral instruction given by Christ, especially about love. That's what you're supposed to speak. What Jesus taught, what Jesus said, what Jesus did is what you're supposed to be speaking, what you're supposed to be doing, how you're supposed to be acting. And then the Apostle Paul taught the same teaching in Colossians 3.17. What, and I'm going to teach on that in the next week or two. Whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. See, in the name. See, do it in the name. Whatever you speak it. You should be doing it in the love and the authority that was in Jesus. Whatever you're doing should be done in the love and the authority that was in Jesus. This is how you produce holiness, godliness, righteousness, everything. It should be produced of the Spirit of God in our lives should be produced by our faith in how Christ loved us and the authority that's in him. So look here, Jesus said that, that I do nothing of myself, John 8, 28. But as my father hath taught me, I speak, see, those things. And then he said, he that sent me is with me. The father have not left me alone. See, you always know the Lord there. You'll never stop hollering about you lonely. You know the Lord is there. Amen. For he have not left me alone. Get this now. For I do always those things that please him. See, now, 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 you remember James said that whatever, so speak and so do. Here Jesus is teaching the way he did God is that he did nothing of himself, but as my father have taught me, I speak these things. And then he said that he has not left me alone. The father have not left me alone. He that sent me is with me. The father have not left me alone. See, you, you, you always, listen, and, and you get intense, you always know God with you when you're believing in how he loved you. You, you, you. You'll never think God ain't there. For I do always those things that please him. See, so Jesus was speaking and doing how the Father had taught him how he loved him, where his faith was living in. John 15, verse 9. As the Father have loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. And so when we don't believe on the name, saints, we're not believing in how the character and the authority of God that was in Jesus, we're not producing Jesus' life. We're producing our lives, and we got to quit calling that mess Christianity. 
And, it, and I'm not angry. We just got to quit doing it. Hallelujah. And it needs to be said like that. Now, 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 now what? Hebrews 11, 6. For without faith in his love, it's impossible to please God without faith. Without faith. Without your faith or believing on the name, you are not going to make God happy. You might make man happy. You might please man, saints, but you're not going to please God. You can't please God and man. You please God, and then man might get pleased and might not. I don't know. It depends on if he loved the Lord or not. But it says here uh, in, in Galatians chapter 1, uh, Paul was talking about people preaching another gospel. And he said, let them be a curse. For though, verse 8, uh, for though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, then, then that you have received, let him be a curse. Or do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? See, you can't persuade God. For if I yet please men, I shall not be the servant of Christ. See, so we go to Hebrews 11, 6. For without faith, you can't please your race. You can't stay white and black in Jesus. You can't please people on your job. No. What you need to do is live for Jesus. Here in, he in Ephesians 6, verse 5. Servants, be obedient to them that are your master according to the flesh. With fear and trim. That means do what they ask you to do in the flesh. That means pick this up, mop this. That means uh, go put this on the computer. Whatever they ask you in the flesh, go do it. Not sin, but whatever they ask you. Be servant. Be obedient to them that are your masters. Or boss. Or leader. CEO. According to the flesh, with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart. Get this now. As under Christ. See, your believing in the name or the character and the authority that was in Jesus. You are to live in, in that in your home, in your marriage, in your family, with your children. Everything you do should require you do it in the love and authority that's in Jesus, where you are producing what you're doing with his life, his nature, his character, and you are never producing you. And I live like this every day. You know, I know it bothers people because they, they ain't found out about it. They ain't walked in it and, and they get mad at me. But don't get mad at me. Come on, go with me. In singleness of your heart, as unto the Lord. Now get verse 6. Not with I serve. You know. Oh, yeah. Eh, eh, eh. You know, you know this up there. You know Uncle Tom and him, she's in him. And, and with I service as Man pleases, always agreeing with every statement they say. Instead of saying, well, no, I don't agree with that. As man pleases, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men. Oh, glory to God. Knowing that Whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he bond or free. And you masters, all you bosses that listen to the broadcast, you over people, do the same things unto them, forbearing, threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven, neither is there respect to persons with him. Hallelujah. 
Amen. So you can see believing on it. Now you might have to find some folk. You up there, you know, acting crazy and, and uh, harassing people and, and stealing men. They need to let you go. Amen. Talking about you a Christian up there stealing from your employee. You know you ain't believing on the name and you ain't living in the love and the authority of Jesus because if you was working unto him, you can't steal from people. You can't lie on people. You can't sit around at lunch breaks and sit around and gossip about people and sit there and let them gossip to you about somebody that you hear. No, I don't want to hear. And then if they tell you, rebuke them and make them know you're not going to tolerate them filling your ears with garbage. Shoot. Sometimes it's better you don't be knowing what they be thinking about people. Sometimes it ain't good to listen to the news. They be tearing people up. And they don't even know if it's true or not. The world, I'm telling y'all, they're sinful. The love of God will cover a multitude of sin. Now, sometimes God needs to come and tell you what's wrong. But he'll do it in love. He'll do it to bring you out. Now, if you deliberately living in, in something and you won't repent, you're just coming against the gospel, God might have to deal with that. Amen. But he still loved them. Jesus still loved the Pharisees. And they, they was mean to him. Amen. And so, so without faith, see, believe it. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Without faith. Without faith. That's why you see over here in um in uh, Thessalonians. Um, First Thessalonians chapter 3, I believe. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Paul said in verse 10, night and day, praying exceedingly that we might see your face. See, folks, I need to see your face in church. I know you can get blessed from this, but boy, when I see your face and might perfect that which is lacking in your faith. See, what's lacking, saints, is people got to get taught how to live in how Jesus loved you, the character and the authority that's in Jesus. That's lacking in your faith when you keep producing you. Stress, anger, wrath, evil submission. See? That, 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 when you keep producing, you wore out. It, it tired every day. Stressed every day. The children are always getting on your nerves. Your faith is lacking. Well, I'm hanging in there. Well, your faith is lacking. Well, I'm trying my best. Well, your faith is lacking. See, in those areas, you know, there, there are times I've had to pray. I remember, I remember years ago I was overweight. Yeah, I'm, I mean anointed by God. But I'm telling you, I, my wife and wasn't, wasn't, wasn't really being that funny. And so I, I just went in there and took it out on some cookies. I found out them cookies, and man, they, they love you every night. And hogging dog. You know, with them almonds on there. And so I found out that every night, the cookies and hogging dogs and milk, uh, they, they really enjoyed me. And I enjoyed them. And so sometimes when your flesh is not getting... Uh, satisfied, it can run to something else and try to find something to satisfy that. And I remember being overweight. I began to fast in in the in November of '97. I began to fast uh, and for six weeks. Now, 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 I didn't eat nothing in six weeks, but I began to miss meals. I began to miss some days eating, and then I'd eat a little bit. But I began to spend more time in prayer, and I, I repented every day for being overweight. I don't know how y'all get used to it. Amen. Y'all tell God you're sorry every day, and then be believing in the name. She's lacking in your faith when you got to keep being like you are that's not pleasing to the Lord. Your faith is lacking in living in how the character and the authority that was in Jesus that will destroy every yoke that will remove every burden, that will cause you to live in the life that was in Jesus 
You are lacking in your faith. You're lacking in your faith. Well, I don't drink enough water. Well, you're lacking in your faith. Well, I just can't stay in them. Well, you're lacking in your faith. I can't get along with them. Well, you're lacking in your faith. Any complaining and arguing, anything you're talking about, I'm, well, I, I just can't handle this. Well, you're lacking in your faith. Love believes the best of every person. Love's hopes is faithless under all circumstances. The love of God, when you put faith in it, it endures everything without weakening. Love, God's love in us, it, do, it, it is not touchy, it's not conceited, it's not arrogant, it's not inflated with pride, it's not rude or unmanly. God, his love in us does not insist on our own way. See, you lack it in your faith. It don't insist on our own way. It's not self-seeking. It's not touchy, fretful, or resentful. And love takes no account of evil done to it. Takes no account. You're lacking in your faith when you got to keep taking account about what's wrong. You're lacking in your faith. That's why you need to be in a church where they're teaching the truth. Now some of y'all, you didn't have been like that for years. You know you had. You ought to be different by that. Paul said that I, I want to perfect that which is lacking in your faith, where your faith can start accessing what God have done for you in Jesus, who he's made you, his character, his authority, where the life you live in now ain't yours, but Christ living in you. And the life you now, Galatians 2.20, you live by faith. This life is not yours, but it's how Christ loved you and gave himself for you. Not, not you. It's not you. Are you seeing it? Now, now, now watch. I, I want to get this. I, I'm, I'm not going to finish this today, but I'm going to finish it tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow I'm going to pray for you all. Uh, but I want to begin to, begin to get in this. Verse uh, 6. But without faith, it's impossible to please God. So you could be leaving, living a false life thinking uh, you over here doing good, giving in church, giving tag, giving offerings. You you up here not by law, not by the not by the Malachi, but but by by the love of God. See, everything we do has to be done in the name. We, we, don't, we don't do stuff because Malachi said it. We do everything in the love and authority that's in Jesus. For without faith is implied. Why, why a lot of ministers don't have me come and preach at church? They scared uh, uh, that I'm gonna tell the people they they don't have to tithe under Malachi. Well, you all not want people to stay in bondage. I had one preacher say, you all under the law. The law don't never get done away with. Well, Jesus said it did. Amen. You did land on Jesus because faith, the law is not a faith. I did read that to you today in Galatians 3, 11 and 12. The law is not a faith. And people are going to give more if you ever teach them this. Amen. 90 something cent of our church tied out of love. And, and, and most everybody in there give, but they tithe out of love, and they give offerings out of love. They don't give it. They give them out of the name, the name, the name, the name. But without faith, it's impossible to please. They added him in there. For he that cometh to God, see, you're going to come to Jesus, must believe that he is, so you got to believe. What are you going to believe? Well, how Jesus, how God loved you in Jesus. See, when you come to God, let me show you, let me show you over here uh, in, in wrapping this up in John chapter 15, verse 16. Gee, I just quote it to you. Jesus said, you've not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Now, here you go, here we go. That whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he may give it you. See, anytime you pray to God or go to God, you must come to God, believing on the name of Jesus, how Jesus loved you on that cross, the authority that was in Jesus that defeated the devil. You pose to come to God, believing on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and know God going to give you what you ask for because you're asking what happened in the name. And you know you're going to get it. 
you know you're going to get it because he done done it. And so without faith, it's impossible to please him. He that come up to God must believe what? Believe what? He is in Jesus. He is. He is. He is. And he's a reward of them who diligently seek and crave, investigate, seek him. He's a reward. Amen. Now I'm going to pick this back up tomorrow because I want to go really dig into what pleases God and what don't please God. Man, this broadcast was good. I want to make available to you Believing on the Name, six CD series. On the screen is our address. They make your checks and your money orders payable to Jesus is Answer Ministries for a love gift of $30 or more. Post Office Box 292-112, Nashville, Tennessee, 37229. And saints, I'm telling you, these tapes, these CDs, will absolutely transform your life. And it's a great investment. You're helping the kingdom. You're helping us preach the gospel and getting the message of Jesus out. Amen. And I'm telling you, I did this in a conference. And I tell you, every minister in the world needs these. Every believer who's called in any kind of ministry need these CDs. <clears throat> and if you're a witness in church, you're usher in church, I don't care what you do. If you are born again in the body of Christ, you need these tapes. And also on the screen, if you want to order uh, this this uh, broadcast, uh, you can order it on CD or, or uh, DVD. Amen. And we'll uh, get that out and make sure you get the number of, the, of this uh, broadcast and we'll get that to you too. Amen. And we love you. Also, I want to invite you all to Jesus as a church. We meet in um, Watertown. That's our church. We don't bought the building. And I tell you, a church that's alive is worth the drive. Saints, hearing this day in and day out, hearing this every week will absolutely build you up and cause what's lacking in your faith where you can grow spiritually and really get seen and get the flesh out of your life. I'm going to teach you on that tomorrow. So on the screen is our phone number. Call 615-641-3505 or call or, or get on the web to robberscalesministry.org and get directions come to the church. Service times is at 9 o'clock Sunday school, 10 o'clock regular service, 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock prayer on Sunday nights, and then 7 o'clock p.m. Thursdays for our midweek service. Amen. Well, I want to thank my partners. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you all uh, who, are, who are helping us. Uh, and being faithful in your giving. I love you. I pray for you. And I thank God for your faithfulness. And I know you're going to get a reward in heaven. And God's going to bless you here on earth. Well, my prayer for you is that you will know the love of Christ that passes knowledge and be filled with all the fullness of God. From Jesus and some ministries, I'm Pastor Robert Scales. Remember, love like Jesus. Hallelujah.